10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, 0. Plus 5 seconds. Here we have a typically top of TVD1, a major milestone towards Israel's Gaganyan mission. Little cousin. Little box conditions will be. खूबसूरत नजारा ये तीन तीन पैराशूट्स डिप्लॉय हो चुके हैं। Impact is sensed. Now the confirmation is available for a successful splashdown of the crew module. इस रो अध्यक्ष श्री अस्सलाम हम आपसे आगे लेते हैं। I'm very happy to announce the successful accomplishment of the TVD1 mission. The purpose of this mission was to demonstrate the crew escape system for the Gaganyan program through a test vehicle demonstration in which the vehicle has gone up to a uh, Mach number which is a speed of sound slightly above that and initiated a, an abort condition for the crew escape system to function. Uh, it uh, took the crew escape system, took the crew module away from the vehicle and uh, Subsequent operations of the crew module separation from the crew escape system, all the parachutes opening and touched down on in the sea at the required velocity has been very well accomplished and we have got confirmation of the data of all of this. And uh, we will be further doing the uh, approach recovery operations of the crew module to be collected from the sea, brought to the port by the ships, that activity will continue to happen. Uh, till now, based on the data, everything has performed very nominally and perfect. I will also like to tell the reason for why we had a hold. Uh, we initially wanted the launch to happen at 8 o'clock in the morning, uh, but there was some weather-related issues. We have rescheduled the launch to 8.45 a.m. But after going through the nominal liftoff process, there was a hold issued by the ground computer, which is called the uh, automatic launch sequence computer, which detected a sort of a... Uh, non-conformance for allowing the engine to continue the thrusting to further go. So this happened due to a monitoring anomaly in the system. So we could identify it very, very fast and correct it. And uh, to make the stage ready, it took some time to refill the gases. And that once that has been completed, we went through the proper automatic launch sequence, which uh, checked the entire health of the vehicle. And finally, the mission computer and the ground checkout computer authorized the launch to take off which uh, released the rocket from the launch pad and subsequent activities of the flight as well as the post-termination uh, about uh, sequence also got executed perfectly. So I'm very happy that our team could understand uh, in case of any anomaly how to rectify, rectify and come back fast as fast. And uh, congratulations to everybody. Uh, this is a big training for the entire team here. To prepare for the Gaganyan program, I'm very happy that launch could take place today within the allocated launch window. Uh, and we will come back with more analysis and data of this mission uh, on uh, recovery of the crew module, which is happening now. We are having uh, views from uh, coming from the sea, from the drones, cameras, which are being taking them. Uh, and before that, before we get any further updates, I would like to introduce the mission director, Sri H. Shiva Kumar, and the director of the crew module and crew escape system uh, to you. So over to Shugama. Thank you, Chairman Isro. All center directors, uh, senior members, MRR and FRR team, and all distinguished uh, guests. Uh, it's like no words are uh, <laughs> not coming up. Yeah. Sir, this is like, you know, uh, never before attempt. It's a bouquet of uh, three experiments put together. And we have now seen the fragrance and the, uh, the characteristics of all three systems with what we wanted to test through this experiment or this mission. The test vehicle, the crew escape system, the crew module, everything, I think we have uh, like, no, perfectly demonstrated in the very first attempt. 
but for the initial hitch, but that's nothing of a problem at all. All the systems performed well. I thank you for all the support provided by the entire uh, team of ISRO across all centers of uh, BSSC, LPSC, IPRC, IASU, SDSC, HSFC, etc. Thank you all, sir. It was a like, you know, penance for us for the last three, four years, and then we have reached that D-Day today. And it was a very happy occasion that we could make it on the very first attempt. Thank you. Now, uh, Mr. R. Hutton, he is the uh, uh, mission executive for the crew module realization and also the mission director of the Gaganyan. Excellent. Hearty congratulations to all, my dear team ISRO and team India. As uh, mission director has already said, I am not getting any words to appreciate the whole team. In fact, it's <laughs> as far as the Gaganyan program is concerned, this is the first major milestone. In fact, this is going to be a great motivator for all of us in the Gaganyan, cut across all the ISRO centers. And in this particular Gaganyan, the most important is the safety of the crew. And this, the safety of the crew that has been demonstrated in this excellent mission, the test vehicle mission, where we have simulated an abort and how the crew escape system carries the crew module away like a bird, like a, a bird is taking its chicken and then uh, to a safe place. You know, the Gaganian vehicle, though it is fully robust and reliable, but then we can't take anything to the chance. And therefore, if any malfunction happens, there has to be a system in the launch vehicle, which is called the crew escape, which will take the crew module away and safely take the crew module and then land. This is what exactly has been demonstrated today in this first mission of the test vehicle. So at this moment, I would like to thank and congratulate the test vehicle project team led by Mr. Shivakumar, the mission director, his vehicle director, Mr. Shumurgan, and all associated members of the project, the centers, not only from Vikram Sarabhai Space Center, cut across all the ISRO centers who have contributed for this launch vehicle. It's a novel vehicle which had been derived from the liquid propulsion, the snap-on stage of the GSW, but entirely it's a new architecture. And I also like to congratulate the escape, the escape what is made possible through the crew escape system, the team behind me, led by Mr. Sunil, as well as Mr. Anand, yeah, and all the centers who have contributed, and the crew module. The crew module, in fact, the total assembly integration has been done by the new center, Human Space Flight Center. The young team, which are in the 20s to 25s, that age group has totally done it. Of course, there are old seniors are also there who are young at heart, who are also guided them, not only from this Human Space Flight Center, but great support from VSSC and all other centers who have contributed many systems for the crew module. So I take this opportunity to congratulate all our teams at Human Space Flight Center and all the other centers of ISRO. And also, the final leg, we have seen how the parachute got deployed at. Yes, sir. Come on. Yeah. Yeah. So, I, I congratulate all the members who have participated in this mission, ADRD, as well as the DRDO agencies, as well as all the industries and uh, other agencies. So, let me thank once again and congratulations. Thank you very much. The crew escape system is a very novel system. So, the chief of the crew escape system design, uh, Mr. Sunil. Respected uh, Chairman Nistro and all senior members, directors of Senders, uh, what should I say about this launch? It's such a uh, perfect launch. Uh, we had a uh, very good lift off, and the cruise ship system has functioned as it has planned. All the four motors fired, and the crew motor has uh, come down with uh, precision. So I'd like to take this occasion to thank all of uh, the people who have worked behind this the whole uh, team, uh, that is Team Nistro, I can call. Uh, who has supported us all through this. Uh, we took around uh, two to three months for completing all these activities at Shah and the people who have supported us and uh, getting it is done. And I thank everybody and thank you. Jai Hind. I will also request uh, the Director of the Human Space Flight Center, Mr. M. Mohan, to address very shortly. Good morning to all. Uh, uh, this has been the first opportunity for the Gaganyan mission to commence its uh, journey, a long journey in the future to come. And uh, I'm extremely happy that uh, this Gaganyan crew module, what now we are showing it live, floating in the ocean around 10 kilometers from the coast. And uh, this has been a, a great journey for the young team of HSFC, 
who has prepared the crew module and uh, from uh, scratch to the final uh, configuration accommodating all the parachutes and all the systems and including the uh, onboard systems and uh, perfectly timing all the openings of the parachutes of the drogue chutes the main chute and finally we were able to capture through the support of the indian navy who are now ready to recover the uh, crew module from the ocean any time and uh, pick it up to the ship and then move it to the uh, 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 port at chennai and we are keenly awaiting to see physically the crew module at uh, chennai port by evening today so let me at this occasion thank uh, all the uh, centers and uh, all the, all the uh, hsfc team members for having this excellent uh, performance of the first milestone major milestone of the uh, gaganyaan program thank you very much i request the director of the vssc center who is uh, taking the responsibility to design this new vehicle which is very unique in its configuration and shape uh, dr unikrishnan nayar good morning the maiden flight of test vehicle along with crew module and crew escape system has been a total success as we have seen all the though this is a small vehicle it has got all the complex systems and all the systems have worked normally and uh, the parachute system you could see uh, the parachute has got seven mortars and then 10 parachutes all of them work in fact it is redundancy is there but everything was worked nominally so i thank all uh, isro centers especially the human space flight center because it is a major major mission for the gaganyaan all industry partners and the uh, adrd as well as tbrl for the for, for the core traveling with us for the parachute system realization thank you the new test vehicle the Uh, which is a liquid engine based uh, stage which is the very unique one so this is the first time we have a lift off of a rocket with a liquid engine uh, firing as the booster stage so the credit goes to lpsc the liquid propulsion system center dr narayan and director of that center very good morning to all of you it's a major achievement for isro and india that we have successfully accomplished a major experiment of crew escape system demonstration for the gaganyaan program using a newly developed liquid propulsion based test vehicle this is the 50th mission from the first launch pad this mission had major new developments the test vehicle crew module crew escape system parachutes and so on the test vehicle is a new vehicle developed using modified vigas engine based air storable propulsion system with 19 tons of propellant a host of new developments like the realization of the crew module crew escape system separation system avionics parachute mission design and so on the success of this mission is one of the major stepping stones towards the gaganyaan program the preliminary data shows perfect understanding and demonstration of the crew escape system meant for saving the crew in case of emergency as the director of lpsc which developed the and realized this vehicle along with iprc and the chair on the chairman of the mission readiness review which reviewed the systems really i feel so happy and satisfied on this occasion that we have accomplished a major achievement and it is going to records of the isro and on this occasion let me congratulate and compliment all the isro team members our partners from industry and other organizations and our family members thank you jai hind so this mission had a very unique two inertial systems one in the vehicle one in the crew module both were operated uh, very very successfully has a very unique way of two separate automatic launch sequence also running to make these two separate computational system work uh, synchronously and this uh, inertial system is made out of the mems based uh, inertial navigation system so done by indian uh, isro inertial systems unit is director shri palpa kumar thank you sir thank you the ndr isro team for uh, making the first step of uh, gaganyaan journey so perfect by a successful simulation of a uh, failure uh, recovery uh, condition and i am very happy to say that uh, all the inertia systems work perfectly fine we had around uh, 12 uh, uh, accelerometers and 15 gyros in this ndr system in two systems uh, one in uh, test vehicle and the other in crew module 
and uh, i am happy to report that uh, the entire system worked perfectly uh, so we have started the journey for this gaganyan and uh, i wish all the best for uh, all of us for that uh, fast mission of uh, gaganyan that is planned in the next year thank you thank you all and congratulations and to finally to conclude the chief of this center sadish thawan space center uh, sri rajarajan who is the chairman of the launch authorization board who prepared new facilities and new equipments to assemble this rocket and make it ready for the launch over to you thank you chairman a yeah, very good morning and uh, an excellent and good house to the entire team isro and all the people who are doing an excellent job like think pass and then start again and a very good beginning well done actually at this center all the facilities have converged from various facilities stakeholders and last three months we had an excellent test check and it gives a very good confidence to start the gaganyan program in right earnest to hand achieving such a milestone and lot of activities are carried out in the new facilities of stc shark where all the facilities of qsk system modules and even tv vehicle has been checked and thoroughly along with all other programs and it is a very good beginning and gives lot of confidence keep it up we will have a wonderful time again to have a successful gaganyan mission in the times again thank you thank you very much uh thank you uh, i will also uh, wish to congratulate the vehicle director and also the the chief of the design team for the rest of the vehicle elements which is uh, uh, the avionics the mechanisms all done by a group called htdg so congratulations to them as well so the currently you can see in the video the uh, the team is approaching uh, for the recovery of the crew module so we'll come back with more visuals of those aspects of recovery as well as bringing to the port little later and that will be posted through our uh, other media so we stop the transmission now and thank you so much for joining this uh, launch and waiting till this much of time with us uh, to handle the hold and recovery operations as well uh, so we have started the journey of the gaganyan which is uh, main uh, launch of the test vehicle about sequence and this will be repeated multiple times at different conditions and also will have an unmanned crew as a crew mission unmanned uh, gaganyan uh, vehicle mission soon the beginning of the next year until then uh, so, so, goodbye from satyasaman space center thank you so much